guys. Good morning. How are you? I don't even know what time it is exactly. I just know that it's morning time. And I had this dream last night. And I had a dream that I recorded what I was like. So I had a dream in while well, in my dream. And then I woke up in my dream and I had a dream that I recorded what I was dreaming about. And I could hardly, I don't, I could hardly remember what I was dreaming about. Like, I, I, you know, I, I can't, I, I'm, you know, gonna struggle with the message or whatever. But I just really wanted to get this out there. Cause I had a dream that I was recording it. And so when I woke up, like, because my dreams are so vivid and real, when I woke up, I was still, like, in a dream, like, I was still, it was still, like, I was dreaming, and I literally, like, the thing, the first thing that I did was get my tripod and my phone and my laptop so that I can come in here and record what I was dreaming about. So, I had this dream that um, I was like, I was in school and I went to, um, it was time, like I was, it was an oppressive reign. Like the people in charge of the school and therefore the entire world, because you know, school is life for some people. Um, so the people in charge of school, you know, it was an oppressive reign. And so I was leaving a classroom and um, while I was in the hallway, they were all like, well, no, before I left the classroom, they were all like, okay, you know, it's time to stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. And like I said, it was an oppressive reign so, you know, pledging allegiance to this reign, you know, it, it wasn't a good thing, you know, like, why would you pledge allegiance to your oppression, your op oppression and your oppressors? So in my dream, I, I got up and I said, oh, and, you know, like, by the way, I don't, I don't stand still for the Pledge of Allegiance. I don't stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. And I, like, I don't say the Pledge of Allegiance wherever. Like, I don't stand still for it. I don't stand for it. Like, I have no respect for it. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. So I'm walking out of the classroom and I'm walking through the hallway and someone says to me, you know, an authority figure, like, hey, you know, like, what are you doing? Because, like, I'm, like, you know, usually when you say the Pledge of Allegiance, you stop walking, you stand still, you, like, face, like, the nearest flag or whatever, you know, like, you put your hand over your heart, and you say the Pledge of Allegiance. So, I'm just walking. I don't have my hand over my heart. I'm not saying anything. I'm not reciting anything. So, I just keep walking. And they're all, like, you know, like, hey, like, you need to, you know, get it, you need to say the Pledge of Allegiance. And instead, I start flying. Um, I start flying. And once people realize that I'm flying, they want to fly as well. Or like, I'm like hovering. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not like, like Superman flying. I'm like hovering and I can do it on command like I can land when I want to and then when I want to I can start I can hover again so but the only people who have like once people see me do it they want to do it too but the only people who can do it who like besides me are children young children only young children can do it. Um, 
So I'm flying or hovering and children are hovering and the children are dancing with it. Like they're, you know, hovering and they're, you know, dancing. And I, like I was doing a little like two step, you know what I mean? When I was first flying. But the children are, you know, cutting the rug, going all out. And when I woke up in my dream, I was thinking about what I just had a dream about. And no longer dreaming about flying, but me, like the real me, still dreaming. I was just crying and crying. I was like, I was thinking back to a time in my life where I just felt like, I was thinking back to a time in my life where I felt like I couldn't do what I felt was best for me, which happened to be move out and lead or live on my own. I felt like I couldn't do it. I felt like I didn't have the resources and therefore I didn't do it. I, I stayed in a really um, bad environment because I felt like I, I wouldn't, like it just didn't, I just felt like I couldn't, like I, it, I tried to look and see if there's a place, you know, where I could go, but I just felt like there wasn't. Um, and so I was thinking back on that time and I thought to my, and after having that dream, I was like, how foolish was I, you know? And like I said, I looked during that time, you know, I looked, but in my, but it, but when I was thinking back on it, I was all like, of course there, you know, I could do it. Of course the resources would have came. I would have found a way to do it. I could have left, you know, I could have left. And so, and I, and I thought to myself, I never want to feel that way again because I had to speak a little louder because the AC just came on. Actually, I'm just going to go turn it off. Hold on. like I just never want to feel that way I never want to feel that way again because it's not true I I can do what I think is impossible I can do it um especially if it's impossible but I deem it necessary like, I, I can do what I need to do, you know? I don't even know why I want to record that. Maybe, you know, just to make sure I remember that. Because, like, my dream self, you know, really wanted me to record it. And, like, I don't know. But, I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys are doing well. My foot hurts. Um, usually I walk every morning. I didn't walk yesterday. Uh, just trying to give my foot a break. And it still hurts a bit this morning. And I'm just, I'm not trying to make it worse.
So I might like um, do like some routine or something. You know, I really don't want to. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. Like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my second channel. And...